In Niger's second largest city, Zinda, an event that's as much about culture and pride as it is competition. This is the national championships of traditional wrestling held once every year. Eight teams representing each of Niger's eight provinces have come together to compete in front of thousands of fans. This traditional sport dates back to harvesting seasons, when villagers used to fight after collecting their crops. With the arrival of the military council in 1975, they thought that wrestling would be the sport that brings all the youths together and the national competition was introduced. Teams of 15 wrestlers are helped by their coaches and for some, they're sorcerers. The role of the sorcerers is to write and play spells on their wrestlers and perform rituals prior to each fight. But different competitors have their own theories on how to best achieve success. This sport requires physical strength, good training and an excellent cleric. Some luck is needed too. Some wrestlers rely on sorcerers who resort to black magic and jinn, but we rely totally on the Holy Quran, which is alive with worldly secrets. For those who can't make it to the stadium, this is very much a television event as well. Both viewers and spectators saw host province Zinda win this year's title after beating the defending champions. Niger's Prime Minister Brigitte Raffini on hand to present the victor's sword along with the $20,000 cheque. And from there it was time to celebrate with the people of Zinda and start planning on how to wrestle back the trophy again next year. Elise Holman, Al Jazeera.